This time on Sightseeing Spot Facts, we're in South America, looking at Peru's Machu Picchu. Describing Machu Picchu can be tricky because no written records or inscriptions exist or were ever found at the site. It's generally accepted that Machu Picchu was built by the Inca in the 1400s, and the evidence for this comes mostly from the physical archaeological evidence and oral stories passed down from the Inca to their present-day descendants. Machu Picchu is often described as a citadel, a citadel being a defensive stronghold, strategically positioned, often on high ground, with moats and walls to protect it. While Machu Picchu doesn't have moats, it certainly was built on high ground. It sits on a narrow mountain ridge 2,400 meters up in the Andes Mountains. It can't have been easy to transport these stones here, some, like this one, weighing 80 tons. There are a few popular theories. One theory says it was built as a royal retreat for the Inca ruler Pachacuti. Features like fountains and baths suggest that the site was likely used as a place for leisure and relaxation. It's possible that 300 to 1,000 people could have lived here, most of them support staff for the royal estate. It would have also been the safest place for the Inca nobility to be when in danger. Enemies could have been spotted well in advance from lookouts and towers, and its remote location with only one narrow entrance to the site would have made it difficult for invaders to attack. A second theory says it was built as a religious and ceremonial site. Archaeologists have found a number of offerings that show it was likely used in religious rituals. And then there are temples, such as the Temple of the Sun, which was likely used to track the movements of the sun and stars. Another possibility is that it was built as a site where the Inca could experiment in agriculture, growing different types of crops and trying out different farming techniques. The terraces they used also had the added benefit that they reduced the chance of landslides. It's most likely that it was a combination of all these theories, but which of these led to the building of Machu Picchu may never be known. It's uncertain when the building started, but mainstream archaeology says around 1450. The Inca are thought to have lived here for just under a hundred years before they abandoned it. Around that time, in the 1500s, the Spanish conquistadors, led by Francisco Pizarro, were attacking many Inca cities, but it's thought that Machu Picchu had been abandoned by the time the Spanish arrived, possibly because of infectious diseases brought by travelers. After lying abandoned for centuries, an American explorer called Hiram Bingham found the site in 1911 and studied it for many years. He wrote a book about it in 1948 called Lost City of the Incas. He's largely credited as bringing it to the West's attention. It's amazing to think that the Inca built this site without the use of metal tools. It's believed they used stone chisels to carve the rocks. They also didn't use traditional mortar to connect the stone blocks. They used dry stone masonry to interlock the blocks, which was probably better for this earthquake-prone region because it lets the stones move and then resettle into their original position. Despite the many mysteries that remain, or maybe because of them, this UNESCO World Heritage Site lives up to its reputation as a member of the Seven Wonders of the New World, with its breathtaking views, rich history, and well-preserved stone structures.